So um, this next session, um, I'm going to um, just pull pull it a little bit together in terms of the after, you know the morning session about brain health, and then um, ensuring our future food security this this afternoon, uh, and. Um, so I'll cover just a little bit about that, and then we'll uh, have a few invited guests with us. Um, we'll have uh, U.S. Senator Roger Wicker uh, share some remarks, and then Dr. Paul Doremus from NOAA Fisheries, Deputy Assistant Administrator for Operations, will also have some remarks. So that's our next 30 minutes, and then we'll have the future food security session this, this afternoon. Um, so I just want to talk about why we need to support seafood nutrition. Uh, S&P has been, S&P is short for Seafood Nutrition Partnership. We've been working on this mission for 10 years and come to find out, you know, our mission um, is to help Americans eat seafood at least twice a week. And 35 years ago, there was a national seafood promotions campaign that NOAA ran, uh, funded by Congress, to promote the public health benefits of seafood. And the tagline there was, eat seafood twice a week. So the science on seafood nutrition has been steady and strong all this time. What we need to do, starting from this room and beyond, is to continue to build awareness for the public health benefits of seafood. And so S&P has been working on various fronts. The, the, the P in uh, S&P, it stands for partnership, but sometimes it stands for pilot. With the level of funding we have, we've been conducting a lot of pilots. And so we work with registered dietitians, help them with information to share it back with their clients about why it's beneficial to eat seafood. We work with chefs. We work with retail and food service. And so it takes an integrated approach to change the behavior for the American public. And, and for those in the, you know, online as well, it takes all of us. And so what I would want to encourage all of us to remember is that it's a simple message. Simple that seafood is good for our health, our public health. And, and we, we're learning this morning that it's good for brain in addition to heart and overall wellness. These omega-3s are just in our cell membranes, and we have cells in every part of our bodies. So when we work on one part of our body, it just helps overall wellness. So seafood is good for our public health. It's good for our planet's health. It doesn't take extra water to grow seafood. The fish are in water already, and you'll hear about that in our future food security and blue food movement. And then finally, it's good for our future food security. We are going to have 9 to 10 billion people by 2050. That's a lot more mouths to feed. And uh, with our land-based agriculture, we're maxed out on freshwater resources, on arable land. And so we're going to have to look to the oceans. And 70% of our Earth is water. We're only using 3% of the oceans to grow our food. So where are we going to go to find seafood? The oceans. But in, cup, you know, in concert with that, we need to help Americans change their behavior and adopt a seafood-rich diet. So that's been the mission of S&P for the last 10 years. And I want to thank all of you for being with this journey from the beginning and on to now. It just takes all of us. So during the pandemic, when it, um, in April 2020, we thought, wow, what are we going to do to help? The world has just changed. We had this great campaign. It was called Little Seafoodies. And we're helping moms eat more seafood for their you know, baby's brain and also uh, help their kids with their IQ. But the world changed. And so we created the Eat Seafood America campaign. And it was a simple campaign. We all had limited resources. Um, but all of us wanted to figure out a way to work together. And so we just called out to our partnership. The P in partnership came together. 
and about 50 nonprofits came together to help support Eat Seafood America. And it really helped to generate a movement for consumers to eat more seafood. Those 50 nonprofits are part of the Seafood for Health Action Coalition. And many of you are on the coalition, and so thank you for your support. We're still working on it. We meet about every couple of months. And so we've got GAP, Genuine Alaskan Pollock producers on there, you know, um, West Coast Groundfish, the Positively Groundfish, NOAA, um, I'm gonna miss the, I'm looking at the audience, but many of you are in our coalition. So it takes a collective effort to try and make a movement. And I know a number of you are asking, we need to get this information out to more consumers and more places. And um, you know, with more funding, we can do that. And uh, we, we um, would love to just work with anyone that would like to get this message out in your particular channel, whether it's you know, in retail, food service, government, um, products, we all have a role in getting this message out. So I would encourage you to, one, go to seafoodnutrition.org. We have a wonderful set of resources, and there are resources for, I keep looking at Rick, <laughs> he's be feel fresh at FMI. We have resources for retailers, food service, kids in schools, workplace wellness. So every avenue, um, we have some resources. And if you need resources customized for where you're working, we'd love to work with, I think Melissa, is she here? With the military, you know, we'd love to work with you and figure out how we can provide the best resources for you to be able to um, make this connection for you. Um, so it really, it really does take all of us, and we need your support. If you have um, other connections you'd like for us to just meet with, uh, have them contact me, Linda, at seafoodnutrition.org. We love your support. And um, one thing that you can do this October National Seafood Month is, yes, we're promoting our, our mission. You're promoting your products. But one thing we can do personally this October National Seafood Month is to celebrate seafood. Hashtag celebrate seafood. We're actually getting a lot of the um, retailers and food service operators together. Uh, a number of companies are doing this. There's a toolkit that you can use at celebrateseafood.com. Download that toolkit. And what I want each of you to do, it's an assignment. I know I'm giving a lot of assignments two networking contacts this afternoon. I need for you to celebrate seafood in October personally with at least one party or lunch or dinner with a family or friend. It starts with ourselves. You know, I, I was, um, I think when I first started with uh, forming this nonprofit, we went to a seafood trade lunch and we were meeting with a lot of the seafood CEOs. What do they order? Beef. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> so we need to really support our own message. And so uh, go to celebrateseafood.com, download the toolkit, and find a way to, find one of the ways to celebrate seafood with your own family, friends, and neighbors. What I'm doing is um, hosting a lunch. I, I now moved to Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, and I will have a lunch with community leaders in the public health sector. I'm gonna share this message out and have them also celebrate seafood. So it really, it's a simple message, but it just requires repetition. And uh, we're also seeking additional funding to grow a larger national seafood promotions campaign with the purpose of promoting the public health benefits of seafood. And so in every channel that you have, um, think of us as a way to promote a healthier America. So. Um, I'm going to also now invite uh, Senator Wicker to share his message on what he's trying to do to promote a public health of Americans through seafood. Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Roger Wicker. Thank you for the opportunity to speak at this year's State of the Science Symposium. The seafood industry hits close to home for me as a Mississippian. The Mississippi Gulf Coast, the Delta, 
and aquaculture farms serve as an economic engine for communities across the state. Fresh local seafood is an important part of our cuisine and having more of it in our diet is better for public health and the environment. I've long made it a priority to support the seafood industry on Capitol Hill. This year I'm working with my colleagues to establish the National Seafood Council, which would promote seafood through a national marketing campaign. This council would play an important role in helping the seafood industry bounce back after suffering losses during the pandemic. It would also educate Americans on the benefits of eating seafood, making a tangible impact on people's lives.